All right, class, we're going to make a butterfly chart here. Now, I know that the gentleman that, that where I posted the um, butterfly chart into the assignment today, he really fantastic job of doing butterfly charts. Of, so it's going to be hard to overdo this and everything, overdo what he did, because he just did a really fantastic job. But I want to make it simple. He actually applied a data set. So what I went ahead and did the same thing. First, I had to go into Excel to look at everything. I created a thing called Technology Skill understanding and certifications. I just think I spelled it right. And I said percent having pre-MBA, percent having post-MBA. So this is really subjective data. And it's really looking at the students to have things pre and post-MBA. Do they have Tableau skills? Well, about 10% do. Post-MBA, everybody gets some. Power BI, about 10%. I don't really teach too much on Power BI right now, just a little bit of assignments on it. So maybe 25% of the people get that. SQL skills, about 50% of the people might have some level of SQL skills they've gotten in their career. Artificial intelligence and machine learning through the NVIDIA deep learning platform, maybe 10%, we have a general understanding of it. They seem maybe they're undergraduates, but when you come out of the MBA, 100% will. Python, well, we know how to spell it. 10% people know how to do it when they come in, and seeing how we don't focus on Python within this MBA course, we really don't, other than you maybe look at some of the syntax and say, get familiar with it, so maybe 15 people understand it, Python becomes machine learning exercise. So basically, I create three columns, column one, column two, column three. The idea of the butterfly is to have a left and right column. The left side will be pre-MBA, the right side will be post-MBA, so you always travel from left to right when it comes to systems, diagrams, charts, architectural diagrams. So those things are really important, but I don't want to overcomplicate it. I made this very straightforward. So it's either percent female, percent male, or pre and post. That's the whole thing. Or X and Y, whatever it is that you want to compare in a butterfly chart. So let's go ahead and go over to Tableau. Now you can see I've already created one, but let's see how I created it. Yes, you have the screenshot. You can go look at the actual fields and everything else like that. But let's go ahead and go over here. Start from scratch. Let's take a moment. Breathe easy. First thing you do is right click create calculated field. You see I created one, it was called zero, zero, and I don't know, I can call this zero attempt two. And you just enter the value of zero for the formula, and the calculation is valid. Of course, this calculation is valid because it's only a zero. You say okay, and we're done. So that's what we call a zero field. So the way you want to do this is create pre-MBA, you put the zero axis, remember I had zero attempt two, I just called it zero axis the first time, I like that better. I put that in the middle, and then I have the post. So if you think about what we've done, if we put the pre-MBA skills, the zero, which really we're gonna put the label, and then we had the post-MBA skills, we just dropped the three columns into the top. Probably worth noting, we're not summing it because it's an average percent, we're gonna average it instead, and We'll average this as well. Okay, that's pretty good. And then what we'll do is we'll take the zero axis and we'll turn from this to text. Now, the next thing we do, you see it's already a bar. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and say what kind of text we put there. We're gonna put, let's put technology skills understanding into the rows, voila, well, this is good. Then we go back to our zero, see it's still text, and we put technology skills understanding into text. My gosh, we've done a lot already. The butterfly chart is in motion. I mean, really, if you just cut it out there, hide this, you'd have a butterfly chart, it just wouldn't look very good. Um, I mean, it was adequate, but not great. So this time, Let's go ahead and get rid of the header there. That way we're only dealing with one. Okay, so this is better. Or undo. Something I want to do first. Undo. is always tricky. 
Okay, we'll just do it here. We go here to this and we'll say what we need to do now is we need to make it a dual access. And that changes everything, right? As you can see, it turned everything into something else. <laughs> Made it really kind of crazy. And you can see now it's the dual access. You can come back and you can edit this dual access a little bit more. Edit access. So the first thing we can do in edit access is we can reverse the order. We can synchronize dual accesses and we can synchronize the order. The next thing we can do is we can come back and we change this back to the bars. So here it went back to automatic. We change the bar, boom. And then we go to the second one and we change this to bar. Now they're both bars. That's not so bad. And you see I have the text here. These texts we can get rid of. You just say, say get rid of the headers. Don't you see the header so we won't duplicate it. So now so far so good. I've synchronized it. I have the two things in the middle. There's a lot of white space here. There's the X access. Let's go back to edit the access. Let's look at this again. So synchronize is on, reverse is on, fixed. Let's go make this fix to zero. And the ending of it, let's make that automatic. Everything else stayed in place. Shebang, hit that. It looks pretty good. Okay, well that's good. And now you can see we almost got the whole thing done. Look, it's all going there. But the, you notice there's no words on the other x axes. So what we need to do is deal with that the way we do deal with that. If we go out and put another zero access, just copy the same member we created right there. And edit the axes. Synchronize, fixed, automatic. This is the other one. Zero access, turn it to text. And then when it goes to text, put the skills into the text field. Right, and they are. We're good with that. And then you go here and you, you do the same thing, dual access. Oh, now we're getting better, right? So we have the dual access, if I missed, edit access, and synchronize full axes. I don't think you need to reverse it, because reverse it will send it the other way, so we don't want to do that this time. If we do that, and then we took fixed, we want to turn this to zero. You saw how it was indented to the right. We go to zero, we make the other side automatic for just floats to length. Really not much of a problem. And we like this. Well, that was pretty good. So now we have some makings of a chart. We have the NVIDIA, but we don't have it all the way over. So some, well, something is missing here. So we got everything out. We double check everything. We're looking at the sides. The access, we go back and edit the access again. Synchronize everything. We did. That's done. So then we go over here to the zero is set to text. Over here, that zero is set to text. This is set to bar. And the other average is set to bar as well. So we have our bars and everything. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to change the colors. And we can change that either through here or we can go over here to access two. and you can hit the color, and you can click on the square, and you can get right into the color matrix. Oops, right there. Okay, apply, boom, so you have that all set. And now, what we need to do, all right, resuming this video, I had to pause for a second to make sure I caught what I was doing. The only thing left, you notice that we don't have the labels really synchronized across everything. So then we just simply need to go to zero two. And what I missed earlier was it the text. You know, we set it to text, but we didn't put the um, skills under the text. So then we do that and voila, the skills pop up. We right click over here and we say show header, header's gone. And then we give it a nice sheet name that makes sense. 
in skill development for MBAs. And now you have a butterfly chart and um, you can see the growth of skills. You certainly have a lot more skills coming out of your MBA than when you first started your MBA. I think it was a very good exercise and it was a fun exercise. Remember, it's all about the data. And so keep the data simple, don't overthink it, and you should be just fine.